I had this idea for wildlife photography bingo, and I've gone through and created a list of the sort of subjects you might get in a good shot, things that might make a shot interesting or fun. I then plugged some of those ideas into an online bingo board generator. And this is what it came up with. So my goal for today is to go out and get the best three photos I can matching a bingo on this board. I've got an idea in my head for where I want to go. Up north, a place called the Tasmanian Arboretum where I've been before and when I took those platypus. But there I should be able to get loads of birds. I'll be able to get a species found on the mainland. Reptiles should be interesting, but because there's water birds, I might be able to get one with food in its mouth. I've always found that they're quite a good bet. So, gonna go there and see what I can find. Just arrived at the Tasmanian Arboretum. There's gonna be quite a few people here, I think. It's a public holiday today. But I'm gonna go down and see what I can find. Hoping to find some native hens. Um, I will, of course, be on the lookout for platypus because I'm always on the lookout for platypus, regardless of what Bingo says. We'll see. This Leatherwood honey ice cream they sell here is just incredible. So nice. Native hens having a bit of a spot. Hmm. So we've got a platypus out here and I can see it, the trail of mud where it's nothing along in the bed of this little pool. So I'm going to try and get some video of it underwater. It may be helpful at this point to have some idea of the place I'm actually standing and how it looks. So this is where I've been. You can get over to this island via a bridge. This is where I am standing at the moment, on this bridge, watching for the platypus, because they will sometimes swim underneath from one to the other, and you can get these really nice up-close shots of them swimming right towards you. So I'm currently standing on the bridge, and I think the platypus is coming my way. There it is. Yep. Photo's incoming. Hopefully. It's got a bit too close for my lens but I think it has just come under this bridge. Yep, there it is. Look at it go. I saw a platypus from way down the other side of this lake, swim over this way, it came down here, and I've been waiting for about half an hour now. It suddenly appeared, it came right out from just in here, and then went up onto the land and was lying there scratching itself. I think I've got some video, I think I've got some photos, I'm so excited. We shall see. This was not an easy situation in which to take photos. You can see in this video just how hard I'm having to work to try and focus on the platypus itself. And there it is, that's the shot. That is a shot I've been chasing for so long. Oh, please let it work out on the computer. Oh my god, look at this. I've got just about all the dream platypus photos I could want. Of course, I still feel like I need more. I just saw that platypus going under and was hoping maybe I could get a shot of it. But I think for the last half an hour or so I've got here, I'm going to focus on the other slots of the bingo card and see if I can actually get something finished. I've got a species that was found on the mainland, definitely using the platypus for that one. Um, I have got a reptile, a snake went past before, and I've got a bird, I've got a turbo chook. Not great shots on those two, the bird and the reptile, so I'm going to go for a bit of a wander and see if I can find some more of those. So I didn't really record much video of this snake, if any. Basically, it was a tiger snake that was just on the path as I was walking by. I chased it around and took some photos. I'm just going through some of the initial photos here, and look at the stripes on this Tassie tiger snake. The ones down in Tassie, so tiger snakes are found on the mainland, uh, and up there they're normally quite stripy like this. 
ones in Tassie are normally black because it's colder down here and so they need that more black body to be able to absorb more sunlight. This guy though, look at those stripes. So pretty. This is probably not a set of photos I would share was I not doing bingo. Part of the reason why I even chose to do it in the first place. This snake is beautiful, but I didn't really get any great shots. You can see the scales and the patterning in some of them, but the head is not in focus, it's looking away. However, I think I'm going to go with one of these shots because you can really see the colouring on the underside of the snake and how it goes right along to the head. And I sort of like the effect of this body disappearing off into the shadows. Okay, we've got some native hen just up here, so time to see if I can get a photo. Not just a adult native hen either, there's a juvenile. An older juvenile. Nonetheless adorable. I'm loving how sharp this guy's eye is in this light. You can really see the red and the black pupil. Well, it's time to head off now. This place is amazing. I've been here before and I will be back again, I'm sure, in another video. I think I've got some good shots of the native hen, um, or turbo chooks. Uh, I think I've got some good shots of the platypus. Jeez, I hope I have after all that time. Uh, I've got a photo of a snake, so I have filled out that top row of the bingo card, which is quite exciting. I look forward to getting home and putting them together and see which three shots I like. I've come up with two different options for the native hen photos. There'll be this one and this one. I think for me it's going to be this one, simply because I think it's in a more interesting environment. Native hen you often see on the land, you often see wandering around and uh, feeding on grass, you don't often see them swimming. So I think for me this is the shot I would go for. My reasoning here is similar with the platypus. So I've got quite a few platypus shots. And honestly, I think technically, these two are probably better shots. They're a bit crisper, they're a bit nicer, they're a bit brighter, um, they're not taken at such a high ISO, so they're not quite as noisy, but I think these ones are just more unique. You so rarely see a platypus on land, you so rarely see them scratching themselves. I think one of these two is going to have to be my pick for the bingo card. So here's my final bingo card, focusing on that top row, which I think I've managed to cover. We've got a snake for the reptile. Quite pleased with that shot. I love the colours in it. You can really see that banding. We've got a turbo chook for the bird. Uh, nice to see it in the water. Uh, and then finally, of course, we've got a platypus for the species found on the mainland. Really excited to see it on land, scratching itself. That was just so exciting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different format. I'm going to keep experimenting, keep seeing what works, what doesn't work. Look forward to hearing any feedback you might have. See you later.